The OCT7 monitor is one of my favorite seven inch monitors, but at a whopping 3000 nit brightness, it can drain batteries fairly quickly. Of course, you don't always have to use 3000 nit just because it's possible. And the T7 has 11 full levels of brightness adjustment for any situation. But just how much power do you need at those different brightnesses? Well, let's get into it. This is Take Two, a new series of short videos where I talk about my favorite features of some of my favorite gear. And today, like I said, we're talking about the brightness and the power consumption of the OCT7 monitor. So the OCT7 is listed with a 19 watt power draw, meaning that a 32 watt hour NPF 770, for example, should last around one and a half hours at full power, give or take a little bit. I usually use mine as I have it here with external power from a larger V-mount battery to help keep the center of gravity a bit lower on my rig. And that reminded me that these blue shaped granite mini batteries that I often use have a Wi-Fi app that lets you monitor the battery's usage in pretty incredible detail. While it may not be 100% perfect, I thought I could give a pretty good estimate of just how much power this monitor draws at different brightnesses. And so I wanted to share those results with you. I tried this two ways with slightly different results. The first way, using the power output from the Zcam E2 F6 to power the monitor, then subtracting the camera's power consumption from that total. Here you can see that the E2 F6 itself is drawing about 8 watts from the Granite Mini by itself. When we turn the OCT7 on at full power, that jumps to 26 watts, meaning that the OCT7 at full 3000 nit brightness added 18 watts to the draw on the Granite Mini. As you decrease the brightness from 10 to 5, every one step decreases that draw by about 1 or 2 watts, meaning at a setting of 5, you get a 10 watt draw from the monitor, and then dropping it all the way down to 0, you end up with a minimum of 8 watts from the monitor. That means that basically between 0 and 5 or 6, you actually don't lose much power. The second way that I tested this was just to power the OCT7 by itself, directly from the V-mounts D-tap with OC's included power cable. I'll put the results up on screen side by side with what I got powering the monitor through the camera's output. I've drawn comparisons to the Portkey's BM5 before, not because it's extremely similar in so many ways, but because it's another very popular monitor on the high bright monitor market. This is the original BM5 with 2000 nits, not the Mark II version, which I believe is ever so slightly brighter. With the BM5 taking power from the DC port on my battery plate, when the camera is also powered through that same battery plate, these are the results that I got. Using power from the D-tap only, I got these results, which are actually slightly higher, if anything. Now it's very hard to show brightness accurately on camera, so I won't bother, but just judging based on my eyes with these monitors side by side, the OCT7 looks about the same as the BM5's maximum brightness when the T7 is around level five or six. That gives you about the same brightness, drawing about 9 watts on the OC and between 11 to 13 watts on the BM5, depending on how you're powering it and if you're using the fan. Somewhere around 3 or 4 on the OCT7 seems to be about the same as medium brightness on the BM5. A comparison of about 8 watts on the OC versus 10 watts on the BM5. The lowest settings on each monitor are pretty much the same brightness to my eye, drawing 6 watts for the OC and 8 watts for the BM5. So I was happy to see that not only does the brightness of this monitor have quite a wide range of flexibility, but so does the power consumption. And even just lowering the brightness a little bit when you don't need it, you can save a lot of battery life. But that's it for today's take two. But for now, if you have any questions or comments, be sure to let me know down below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. If you liked this video or found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you for watching.